Our Lady, Woman of Valor, is one of the titles of the Virgin Mary. In Tel Aviv, the feast was celebrated at the pastoral center bearing the same name. The Feast of Our Lady, Women of Valor, it's the patronage feast of this church in south of Tel Aviv. It's the only church that belongs to the Vicariate for Markets and Asylum Seekers, and of course the very international church. We have Sri Lankans praying here, Ge'ez right from uh, Ethiopia, Eritrea, from Africa, um, from uh, Konkani speaking Indian, Malagalam speaking Indian, Sri Lankans, Philippines and so on. And one title really of all the titles the Mother of God have, it's really, yeah, that she's also a woman of Vela and you find the Old Testament. During the solemn mass, there were songs and readings in different languages. The celebration was presided over by Father Nicodemus Schnabel, patriarchal vicar for migrants and asylum seekers, and was marked by the joy and colors of the migrants who wore the typical clothes of their countries of origin. Every year in May, migrants gather to give thanks and ask for the intercession of Our Lady, Woman of Valor. She is the woman who is the model of all migrants. She has experienced being a migrant too when she went to Egypt. And now we celebrate this with a big, big heart, welcoming all the women, the migrant women in Israel, because they are the women who has given mostly uh, their services to the people of Israel, especially the elderly and the sick. And now uh, these women are also, we call them women of valor. Who will be able to find a woman of valor? She is more precious than jewels. She opens her mouth with wisdom and brings teachings of goodness. These are verses from the last chapter of the biblical book of Proverbs that reflect the beauty and struggle of men and women who find the help they need here. We are here to help them with uh, their uh, psychologically and uh, spiritually. If they have any problem, we are there to listen to them and to help them, to guide them. In Israel, which has the highest percentage of migrants, migrant workers and asylum seekers, and we wanted to create a home for them, a home away from home, a home where they could come and pray and be together and speak their language, but also a place where we could educate their children, a new generation of children that speaks Hebrew. So it is a multi-purpose center, very small for hundreds and hundreds of people. We have here eight masses on the weekend, eight Sunday masses. So really a lot of people who come and find the comfort of Our Lady. You good Jesus. Always uh, you come, you all family, you uh, good happy, all family.